Welcome to the Von Vodcast. We are here on the very comfortable sofa at the Melrose Arch Hotel. And today my guest is Louise Carver. How are you doing, Louise? I'm um, so good. Thanks for inviting me here. It's nice to have you back. You know that you are the, the only the second person that has featured twice on the Vodcast. Wow, that is an absolute honor. And uh, I was there in the early days when you just got started. So <laughs> you've picked a much better location. Yes, Thank and you. the cameras are bigger and the microphones <laughs> are nicer. And it's also a very exciting time for you yes. because you've just released a new album, Look mm -hmm. to the Edge. How's it going? It's, um, it's been an absolute labor of love, this album, as with every album. But um, this particular one, I was way out of my comfort zone. I was experimenting with different rhythms, um, including a lot more electronic music uh, um, and um, Zulu phrasing and Zulu percussion. So I wasn't, uh, the whole process, I was thinking, well, people are either going to love this or hate it. Uh, when we released Warrior, the first single, um, I got the fright of my life. It was accepted by all major rec um, by all major radio stations, even quite um, adult contemporary ones, which are quite conservative usually. Um, I was driving around Cape Town, and KFM was playing Zulu Boys rap on my uh, worry. I was absolutely certain they would have faded that out, and I was incredibly proud to be just to have to have to hear it in my own in my own city. Well, it's, uh, you are. You're now a resident of Joburg. Yes. You've been for a while, so mm. we're claiming you, okay? <laughs> I've got one more year, apparently four years. I've been here three years. So um, the word on the street is after you've lived in a city for four years, you, you are completely in with the crowd. So next stop, PE. Watch out. <laughs> How long did it take to put this album together? I mean, obviously, you've got to experiment with a lot of sounds and all of that. Um, was it a long process? Well, writing for me is, is always long. Um, about 10 of them were done over a two to three year period. I'm a very slow writer. I'm a perfectionist. So when I take the song to the producer, it's pretty much done. Sorted. Um, um, but the, the total production time was about seven months in studio with Brian O'Shea and Marius Brower and we did it in Joburg and we did the vocals in Durban. So I had a week in Durban in a beautiful guest house and all I had to think about was vocals, which is what I wanted to do. Certain things happened to me in the last year that made me toughen up. Um, Warrior is all about that. Somebody stood on my toe really badly in, in a work environment made me feel terrible about myself and humiliated me. I went away and for three days wrote Warrior in my pajamas. I didn't get out of my studio um, and got that out of my system. And from then something changed in me. I just thought, right, you're it not, is. no one is going to treat me like that again. I haven't got any favorites just yet. Okay. One that I did um, kind of dig at the moment um, is What If. I really oh, enjoyed really? that one, yeah. Okay, so. well, that one is uh, kind of primed to be the next single. So you've got an mm. ear, boy. <laughs> if this doesn't work out, I know where I can go. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got other stuff besides the music happening at the moment. You're launching your jewelry range this yes. week. Um, tell me a bit more about that. I've got a range together that is exactly what I like to wear. Um, it's bold. I hate the overuse of the word organic, so I'll use the word it's natural. Um, no two things will ever be the same. It's all gemstones and pearls in their natural blister shape. So you don't know much about pearls, yeah. but it's not the perfect round. Okay. It's got character. Okay. And um, the campaign was shot in South Africa, and it's just a very South African glamorous product. We've got so much talent in this country. And I don't think that the international market is aware of our talents. So do you have plans for 2010 to, to kind of just showcase your music to everyone that is coming into the country and hopefully sell the albums as well and get some more international recognition? Yeah, you know, that's always everybody's plan. And especially at, a, at the level that I'm at now, it's we're really hoping this album will be a proper launch pad. And I've done quite a few albums. Um, in different genres and I think what I consciously wanted to do um, is give them something they don't have like they don't need another Sheryl Crow they've got enough Sheryl Crow type what they don't have is an artist that is able to bring in her um, her country's percussion bring in a different language give them a unique product and this what this is what look to the edge is it's not trying to compete with anything else out there it stands alone with real South Africanisms, um, but at the same time being on an international level. Very nice. Okay. Well, Lou, we've got to wrap it up, unfortunately. Um, but good luck with the album. And like I said, we will be tracking you. 
and yeah, good luck with the jewelry as well. Martin stalking, <laughs> not Martin Through stalking. Through Twitter. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, Lee. Hi, I'm Louise Carver, and you are watching the Von Vodcast. Check out my new album, Look to the Edge. Warrior is currently on air. Um, hope you love it. Bye.